Today I want to show you a book on multiplication. Um, it's called the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Multiplication Book. There are a huge number of these books that they did um, to tie math with different uh, Hershey's bars. There's one for Twizzlers, there's M&Ms. Um, this is actually really cool if you use this for some sort of incentive. So think about, you know how you probably remember back in the day, maybe your teacher offered you a pizza party or you got to come into the classroom and have lunch in the classroom or you know something special like that. This could be used for something like that where um, students would maybe bring in their own candy bar and you guys would experiment together, which would be really fun, um, or you provide it. So this could be something they would work towards. So um, it's a little bit longer of a book. I'll show you a couple pages here, and then I want to focus on one today. Your teacher is not in school today. Please report to the art room for math class. Thank you. Milk chocolate times math equals art. Count the sections of this Hershey's milk chocolate bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You did it, but there is an easier way. It's called multiplication. And I would even ask my students, is there, is there an easier way that you can think of? Let them see if they can figure it out. This is a grid. Inside is an array of numbers. An array is a set of numbers arranged in order. Look for patterns. In math, this is a multiplication sign or a time sign. It is used to multiply numbers. Here's an equal sign. It is used in equations to show that two or more numbers are equal in value. This next page is really where um, I like to focus on it because you will see that it is a natural array. The Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar is perfect to use when learning multiplication. This candy bar has three sections in each vertical column and four sections in each horizontal row. Three times four equals 12. We did not have to count every one of the sections. We multiplied. In the art room, the kids are drawing lines with pen and colored ink. The really cool thing about Hershey's chocolate bars is that, like it or not, they are an array, right? And we use arrays a lot in multiplication um, to show children how we are representing those groups of. So you can see I have three groups of four in each row. I could also think of this as four groups of three, so either way. You'll notice that it then goes into ones, 1 times 2, 1 times 3, 1 times 4, 4 times 1, which I really like to point out how that looks different than 1 times 4. Children need to know that. 3 times 1, 2 times 1, 0 times 0. Cool. Then we've got some facts there. Again, they're looking for patterns. Then we go into some arrays with 2. So 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6, 2 times 4 equals 8, 3 times 2 equals 6, 3 times 3 equals 9. They even talk about square numbers, kind of cool. 4 times 2 equals 8, 4 times 3 equals 12. You're getting the picture here. You could even put chocolate bars together and really see how that multiplication can even be used with chocolate for bigger expressions. This is a fun one. I definitely recommend it. Students love to look through anything related to candy. Duh, who doesn't like chocolate, right? Uh, so this is another great one to have for your classroom library.